Why did the Concorde nose drop? Let me explain. Unlike traditional passenger aircraft, the Concorde's unique wing design required it to adopt a high nose-up angle during takeoff and landing to generate enough lift. But with the nose up, the pilot's view of the runway directly ahead was obstructed, creating a potential safety hazard. However, to counter this problem, the Concorde was designed with a drooping nose mechanism. When the nose drooped, it lowered to a position that allowed the pilots a clear view of the runway and airport surroundings. However, once airborne to reach cruising speeds, which could top Mach 2, the nose needed to be raised. But this was to create less drag as the airflow with the nose raised around the Concorde to be more streamlined, which allowed the supersonic jet to reach its cruising speed. But given that Concorde's engines consumed a lot of fuel, Maintaining aerodynamic efficiency was key to ensuring the plane could cover long distances at supersonic speeds. The droop nose had to be precisely controlled by